Welcome back to the Queen's Farm. Imagine a life without electricity. Imagine trying to find your way to the bathroom in the middle of the night. Well, in 18th century colonial America, people mostly depended on the sun for light and woke up when it rose to get the most out of their day. When the sun went down, all they had were candles to light their way. So colonial families spent a lot of time making and carefully storing candles. Theirs were made out of tallow, which is rendered animal fat, just like the grease that drips off your bacon when you cook it. Now, tallow candles don't smell great and they smoke when you burn them, but animal fat is a readily available resource on a colonial farm. Back then, you could make candles by pouring melted tallow into a mold, just like this one, or you could do what we're going to demonstrate today, dipping. Candle dipping is really easy and you only need a few materials. First, get your wax. You can purchase this online or at any local craft store. We're using beeswax today. Colonial families also kept these, but they saved their beeswax to preserve their jars of food over the winter. You can also use soy or paraffin wax. You can even score some serious zero waste points by saving all your old candle ends and melting them down to make a new one. Next, you need wicks. You can also purchase these online or at your local craft store. I like to get them on a spool so I can decide how long I want my candle to be. Have a pair of scissors on hand to cut your wicks to length. Have an old chopstick or a pencil for dipping. You'll need a double boiler or even just an old pan with a recycled aluminum can. You want your stove or a hot plate and a container of cold water to cool your candles off in between dips. Fill the bottom of your double boiler about halfway with water and the top with wax. Heat your wax until it's completely melted. As you work, keep an eye on the water level in your double boiler and add to it if it gets too low. Then cut your wick to size. Keep in mind that your candle will only be as long as the depth of your melted wax. Tie one end of the wick to the end of your stick and dip your wick into the wax. Then dip it into the water to cool it off. And as the wax hardens, go ahead and straighten out your wick. This will make sure your candle is nice and straight. Dip again. and back into the water. Keep straightening your wick as you dip to make sure your candle is nice and straight. And then keep dipping. It's important to remember to cool your candle off in the water in between each dip. And also not to leave your candle in the hot wax for too long, otherwise all of your new layers will melt away in the pot. Once your candle is about as thick as you'd like it to be, you can cut it from your chopstick and then take a small knife and just very gently cut the bottom drips off so that your bottom's nice and flat. And then I like to take it and stick it onto a flat surface to ensure that it'll stand up nice and straight. And there you have your first hand dipped candle. Now that you've got the hang of dipping, you can mix it up by molding candles into fun shapes while they're still warm or even twisting two together. You can even add some color into the mix by using old crayons and dipping them in layers for a fun surprise when you light your candle. Happy dipping. Thanks so much for joining us today. See you next time.